I'm Leonard Kim, police officer with Warner Robins Police Department. I honestly just really like talking to people a lot. It dings. It dings a lot. I have used it, uh, the expired tags, the suspended registrations, that kind of thing. I also have it set up to find people with warrants. I found that the stolen car one that I've used recently uh, ended up being stolen by someone with a whole lot of warrants. And when he realized that we'd found him, decided to trap everyone in the house. Uh, he, they all got out, everything turned out okay. It led us to that stolen car, another stolen car next to it. Ended up being very, very helpful in that one. When we were brought in, there was a kind of a general understanding that crimes were really occurring in certain parts of the city. But as we looked at the crimes from week to week, we saw that they're actually moving around the city. And we came up with a dynamic license plate reader solution, where if we can predict where crimes are likely to happen in the next week, we place a camera there in hopes that it will deter that crime from occurring. So if we keep, we could take five or 10 cameras and keep moving them around and it may appear like, like there are a hundred in terms of the deterrence effect. The idea behind it is to come up with a predictive process based on historical data of how the crime moves and, and is fluid inside our city limits. We have broken the city into much smaller areas. And what we do is we predict whether or not zero, one, two, or three crimes might occur in that area. Uh, in order to determine where is the, the best potential placement for, for these cameras. It's one of the best investments I think we can make as a city because it brings the peace of mind of safe streets, safe communities, safe shopping experience. Uh, the fact that we have our flock cameras in different areas in our city with that smart technology to expand the footprint of our police department helps us solve crime and also helps deter crime, which is even more beneficial. The overall objective is to reduce crimes overall, not just do more with less cameras, but be able to uh, deploy the, the police officers that they do have in a more effective way. I don't consider myself a, a crime fighter. We're, we're playing a, what I hope is a relevant, important support role to the people that are really out there uh, fighting the crimes and putting their lives on the line. We're just happy if this can do anything to help to reduce the number of crimes and keep people safe. But one of the main reasons I got into this job was to kind of help people on a, on a one on one basis, uh, one incident at a time one or several people at a time. Um, so when they call and I have another tool to help them with whatever happened to them, whatever they needed us for, to me that's, I'll use it. I don't need to make like a save the world kind of change. I'm pretty happy kind of finding small changes to make in like everyday people's lives. If it's one by one, that's totally fine.